And also the Cardinal State's Governor, Senator Uba Sali, has lamented over the return of bandits' activities on the Cardinal Rapuja Road after 18 months of peace on the highway. The Governor expressed concern over the security situation in seven local government areas of the state at a first Security Council meeting with heads of securities, traditional leaders in Sarkashim Ibrahim House in the state. Bandits and terrorists has exploited gaps particularly around Maganda, Kuyello, and other villages surrounding Bukuru, Buruku, Udawa, Damba, Kuriga, Polwaya, and other flashpoints. To carry out ambushes on citizens as well as security forces attempting to respond to distress calls. Chukun, Gyo, and Igabi have become areas of concern as well. From Maraba Rido and Kodendan Aziz in Chukun, Soran Goma, Kerawa, and Dunki areas of Igabi have also witnessed attacks and killings in recent weeks around Dokan Kariji, stretching into Kaju. He reiterated his administration fully committed to the security and safety of the whole of Kaduna State, which is the cornerstone for the realization of the sustained agenda. I will, however, appeal to the military and the police to step up their presence in the Tudumburi general area in view of threats arising from efforts to rebuild the community after the fortunate incident of last year. Administration is fully committed to the security and safety of the whole of Kaduna State because security is the cornerstone for the realization of our sustained agenda. I have been pursuing the deployment of more boots on ground through more military formations. I'm also happy to inform you that very soon there will be establishment of some forward operating bases in the state. Um, we in the commission, we have to be here to console the, the governor, to console the people of Kaduna State, and to pray for God so that we never see such again in our lifetime. We want to thank His Excellency, the governor, for all that he has been doing for the people of Kosans. What I mean, I mean people, the refugees, the migrants, and the internally displaced persons. Many people were affected here in Kaduna State, and we felt that we have to come in to ensure that we provide support for the affected community and to also pray for them. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.